Hi there, Rob here, and I'm just going to take you through the full bra drawing uh, setup. Uh, we're going to use the uh, divide path method. There's uh, two different ways we can do it, but uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, the first thing is getting this front view of the uh, of the bra setup. Uh, I've got it set up from the previous video with the template, and I've got my center front line in there on the bridge. Now. With this method, whenever you have a line that crosses the center front line, you don't need to draw it across. Uh, we'll see later on. We'll use a point here and in here as well. We won't draw this last line. Now, the important thing when you're drawing your outlines is first to do the outline, and then we're going to divide everything up after we've done the outline. So the outline will run all the way around the edge here. We'll uh, ignore the strap for the time being and run all the way down into the cradle and underneath here and then we'll separate out the cup and the parts of the cup later on. It makes it a lot easier to draw. The other key thing as well is picking up the places where we need to put our points down so that we can easily adjust and manipulate our curves. So just zoom in a little bit, get everything set up and with the pen tool I'll start here and as I said before, I'm going to draw all the way around the outline to here. And then we'll use the reflect method that we've done in a previous video and then divide all of this up. So I just need to put in a point where the line changes direction. So that'll be my starting point. Then here, here, out towards where the wing would be, here, down to there. And then for this smooth curve, that changes from a valley into a hill there. At some point, we need to have a, uh, a point to change the direction of the line. I'm gonna pop one in there, and then I'll hold down the control key so I've got nothing selected. And I'm just gonna set up uh, my stroke so that I've got a nice, uh, nice thick stroke there. So I've got the basic setup in terms of the lines and the points. Now I'll go back in hold on my pen tool and choose my anchor point tool and then all I need to do is just change the lines just by pulling them with the anchor point tool to make them into nice curves, don't need a curve there and then I'm going to pull this down here and if you do need to adjust anything a bit more than the anchor point uh, tool can manage use your direct selection tool, the white arrow just go in afterwards and just adjust your handles just give them a little tug. Those are well positioned handles. They just just about take up about up to about a third of the line from the point that they're controlled by. Uh, all I need to do now is reflect this section here. And if I just hide my template away, it'd be easier to see. So all I'm going to need to do is just flip this over my centre front line, make a copy, join both sides, and then I'll have my full cradle set up. So I can do this with or without the template uh, layer turned on as long as everything's locked it's all easy and I'll just select there I'll go and get my reflect tool hold down the alt key and click on the center front line which will bring up my reflection box I'll just make sure I'm doing a vertical uh, reflection click on preview so I can see where it's going and click on copy and then go and make sure I've got both objects selected. I can right click join. It'll make the first join at the top of the bridge and then join again. And then all I need to do now is just go in with my anchor point tool and just pull that line up. Because that's crossing the center front line there, it's a lot easier to pull it up, get a nice smooth curve there. So now I have my basic bra shape. I need to go in and divide it up and the way we're going to do this is just draw the lines. We've done this in a previous video using the Pathfinder tool. We're going to use a slightly different method via the menu but uh, we'll get to that in a second. The first, the way you need to look at it is divide from the largest object into the smaller objects. So I've done the outside of the whole bra shape. I'll now go and do the cup and then I divide the cup into the different parts of the cup. So all I need to do, 
is give myself a line that will follow the underwire of the cup there or where it would be and I just need two ends of my line there and I'll just go back and grab my anchor point tool and I can pull this line right down give me a nice deep loop and then go back with the white selection arrow the direct selection tool and just adjust the handles just so I get a nice smooth curve on there might have to just tweak a little bit either side if you need to adjust the uh, the point at the top uh, I'm going to use the arrow keys just to nudge that over uh, you can refine your sketch here you're using as a template so you can actually make the technical drawing a lot smoother than your original uh, original sketch and after a little bit of tweaking a bit left and right there and there we have fairly well done curve I think that'll do um, if you hide your template then you can see exactly how it looks now you might have to do this a couple of times just to experiment and get it right but for the time being what I'm going to do is reflect that curve I've done to the other side so I can make a copy so I've got it ready for doing the other cup on the other side so I'll alt click with the reflect tool and just copy that over and then all I need to do now just go and hide away my template now rather than use the uh, pathfinder divide from the uh, pathfinder panel this one here I'm actually going to use the menu command so if you go into the object menu go down to the path option and you see divide objects below now this works slightly differently to the pathfinder divide uh, command you don't need to have both objects selected you just need one object selected and you choose object path divide objects below and it will do the same thing the different thing you get with the uh, with the menu method is your two objects so my cup and my cradle are kept as two separate objects if I just undo that and I'll show you again how that would work with the pathfinder divide I'd have to select both objects click on the button and I get a group that has my two separate paths in your choice as to which one you want to use uh, it can be helpful if you're doing multiple objects to do it with the pathfinder divide because you will get a group of everything at the end and they're all nicely grouped together you haven't got lots and lots of different objects to work with uh, all separate so I think that works pretty well so I can do the same thing over the other side and there we have one group because I used the pathfinder divide before with my cup and cradle so now I go in and I chop up the next section so the multi part of the cup so ideally probably helps you start locking things I'll go and get my pen tool and all I need to do is just draw my curve for that uh, that divide there now if you've got multiple objects together so here where I've got my line going out of the cup and over into the rest of the cradle here I want to just cut the cup so all you have to make sure and easy to set up if I just go and unlock that and just to make it easy to show I'll just go and ungroup all this so I'll go object ungroup so I've got all my separate objects there you can either lock the objects you don't want to be affected by this dividing or you can just hide them away so I'll just hide everything to start with there's the line I'm going to use to cut and that's the cup that I want to cut I'm going to use it on the same on the other side as well so I'll make a copy uh, so I'll just alt click with my reflect tool and copy that now with the other objects turned off or not visible if I just click on the divider line and go object path divide now that line won't affect anything else and I can turn the cradle back on 
and it's nicely neatly in there I'll go back on I'll just do this to the uh, other cup on the other side and there I've got my two cups divided made make the first cut and with the cradle there and it's a very simple exercise just to keep going cutting away uh, so I'll go in and I'll draw my other dividing line and I can just click click there now this line underneath the cup and this line dividing in the cup are two separate ones so I'll just draw that as two separate lines I'll go in anchor point tool just curve that and then adjust it with my direct selection tool and that looks about right of course I'll need that on the other side as well so if I just select that and reflect alt click and copy now this is where labeling your layers really works because now I've got multiple objects here and uh, it might be quite hard to work out which is which as a sort of quick and dirty method uh, you can actually change the uh, size of the thumbnails in your layers panel and you can sort of see what the images are a bit better in the panel there so I can see I've got the cradle there which I don't need for the time being and I've got the top of a cup there and I think that's the top of a cup there so what I'm going to do now is select all four of those objects there and then use the Pathfinder divide panel and you can see how it's divided everything up in one quick go. The disadvantage is all of those objects are all in one group so I can quickly ungroup them if I need to and then if I go and turn off my template I'll turn everything on and you can see how it's all nicely divided up and you can keep going keep going keep going all of these objects are all separate objects all beautifully lined up like a lovely jigsaw puzzle and now you will later on in your technical drawings you'll be able to add color uh, texture and uh, fabric to indicate all the different parts as you need so it's very simple operation once you've worked out how you're going to cut everything up quite easily just to use lines you don't have to be accurate your lines can go over the edges all the trimmings done with either the object path divide objects below which will cut things underneath or with the pathfinder divide option and you can go through and you can make really complicated uh, drawings quite easily once you've got the basic skills of drawing adjusting and so forth so the only other thing in terms of adding the strap and there's many different ways you could do this uh, quite a nice easy way is just get a line segment tool and I'm just going to draw a line up there I might just make it perfectly vertical I might just keep it at an angle and then I'll use the object path offset path and this draws an offset path around your existing path so I'll click on there and I'll get the option of how much to do the offset if I click on the preview you can see the offset path drawn there and if I select all of those numbers in there and use my arrow keys on my keyboard to adjust down and up sometimes there's only one two isn't enough so I can just add in 1.5 that looks about right click on OK and then I can go and pick out my original line delete it and there a nice fitted strap which of course will be like everything else reflected onto the other side copied and there we go now of course I will go back and label all my layers but there is the start quite easily drawn and in future videos we'll get into talking about doing the uh, the wings and all the adjusters and everything else 